What's up, you guys? Siobhan's here. Allie's here. She doesn't have a mic. Anything you want to say? Yeah. Putting her on the spot, putting her yeah. on blast. You guys are going to be uh, about a 40 minute workout today. I took a little bit of this class from Sebastian's class that I took a couple days ago. So I um, apologize in advance. No, you're welcome. Uh, go ahead and cue the video, guys. We're going to start Allie in a standard wheelbarrow. This is at the front, facing the front. If you're at your house, I know you don't know which way the front is, whichever way you put your machine in your house. The front of your machine is going to be where the springs are, OK? The springs are on one side. You have a platform on each side. You have your carriage in the middle. In your wheelbarrow, your knees are down on the carriage. Your shoulders are starting just before the wrists. So last night, I went and took a class, Cindy's class. Thank you very much, Cindy, for this cue. She, she says, just go right before your alignment of the wrist. So when I teach yoga, I teach the, the headstand, right? Where you're stacking the bones. Okay, no, we want you to stay engaged. So you stop right before you come all the way forward. We don't want that stock to happen. And we definitely don't want you to go any farther forward than that. So you breathe, okay? Stay in this, okay? This is a little bit longer of a move. Instead of just going for a one minute in these moves, we're doing specifically a little bit longer today. And it has you really starting to get adjusted to that move. You start to get super activated, super engaged, maybe a little fatigued, and that's good. That's what I wanna see. You'll, you'll feel the difference of this class and other classes. So you have 25 seconds on the clock. You're gonna be coming into bare one next, so you pop your knees up. Toes will come onto the carriage. Thank you, Allie, for going nice and slow. Slowly in for five, four, slow, three, slow, two. Very nice, you can slowly take it out for five. Four, so this is your last full range of motion here in your wheelbarrow. Thank you very much. I'm wearing Converse today, representing the city of Ventura, 805, baby. <laughs> Coming into your bear, tuck the toes. If you have your shoes on, like me, get your toes up. That's fine. Get the tip of your tennis shoes down. If you don't have shoes on, get the tip of your toes down. Heels are high. Now your alignment is hips and shoulders in alignment. You see a nice straight spine. I love it when the teacher goes down the back. You see the perfect engagement here, activation of the, of the hips. Nice. So the knees start out underneath your hips. Perfect, 90 degree, you get that golden angle. Then from there you find the plank and then slowly, it's like your big toes are slowly letting your knees come back in underneath the hips. Nice, beautiful. Guess what? I know this is hard. You only have one more move in the intro. This is exactly how Sebastian did its class that I took and I loved it so much that I wrote it today. So you're in your bear for a little bit more time. I know it seems a little bit long, but like I said, you only have one more move and then we're going straight into the right leg. So stay in it and breathe. Beautiful, feel your strength. A little bend in the elbows. Let's get a little bit of the upper body starting to get worked and activated because we don't have a lot of isolation of the arms again in this class, okay? I want you to get a lot of core and a lot of uh, muscle building, calorie burning in this class. That's what I'm designing it for. 25 seconds again, okay? I gave you the 25, 25. I know you can do it for 25 seconds. Breathe, okay? Knees are coming in slowly. So you feel that very bottom of the abs, pulling the abs in towards, uh, belly towards the spine, perfect. 10 seconds on the clock, you're gonna come into a catfish. Your hands are gonna come up higher on the handles. The last class that we filmed, we went high to low. This class, we're going low to high with the hands. Breathe, nice, beautiful. Can you go higher on the toes even than that? Yeah, get the balls of the feet up. That's what I want you to do in your catfish. Transitioning now, get those hands up. So your carriage is gonna come in. Get your hand placement, perfect. Now we wanna see the alignment right here. See how Ali just had a little tiny flick of the booty out. Sharni, that's you in level two teacher training. Legree, Huntington Beach, that's what I got from you that day, baby. Flick it out. Okay, perfect, beautiful breathe. Love you, Sharni. Shout out to you any day, every day. <laughs> now you're gonna bend the knees. Catfish is super tricky for people to feel what you're supposed to feel here, okay? Guess what? It's easier to feel it after the bear. It's bomb. Little bend of the knees, toes as high as you can, okay? I want you to feel like your big toes are the only things on your feet touching the carriage. Heels are high, yes, boom, there it is. Allie's breathing. Nice. Cute little hair tie, just happened to have it in my purse. Matches perfectly. <laughs> we love the color coordination. Okay, you have a little bit more time here. Remember, this is the last move of your warm up. Stay with me, okay? and you breathe, and then again, use those just those big toes to let the carriage come in. You have a little range of motion here, right? 
only maybe a couple inches out, a couple inches back. And then I like to sometimes just, how does it feel as when you come in, if I just pull back a tiny bit, just one finger on it, right? Oh my gosh, how much activation is that? So if you have somebody at home, tell them to pull back a little bit on your carriage. Just tell them to mess with you. Mess with you a little bit. Mess with you a little bit. We're coming to the right leg elevator lunge for the right in five seconds. You got this, Allie. Everybody at home, come on, baby. We're going to the right leg transition. See the blue on the, on the timer? Seven seconds, five seconds to get there. Find your stability in your right leg. Left toes in the carriage, nice and high. Right foot's planted. Dig down into the right heel. Shoulders are back and down. And just like an elevator, right? What does an elevator do? Up and down, nice and slowly, unless you were in my hotel in Denver a couple days ago, and that was fast AF. I don't know what was going on with that elevator. I'm like, either I'm getting old and I'm getting more scared of heights, or this elevator is somebody, whoever's doing the maintenance on it, nice job. I got into the lobby in no time. So knee over the ankle alignment, beautiful. Breathe, we're getting nice and low, nice and low, nice and low. Great, you can always, you know, you have those handles there. Maybe you have a machine at home where you don't have the handles, you can take a bar. Order your pole from Legree.com. Breathing here, pull the belly in. Now, not straightening that right leg when you come up. Take your time taking it down. Whew, I feel good teaching today, man. Makes a difference, not getting off an airplane teaching a class. <laughs> Take your time, not uh, light on the toes. Yes, look at the golden angle. There it is, Allie is perfection. Okay, we're carriage kicking now, so stay low. The left knee is gonna come in, and then it's gonna come out. So you're doing elevator lunge, elevator lunge, carriage kick, elevator lunge, okay? Just like Sebastian taught in his class, because I really felt it. I was like, this is amazing, let's do it. Let's get it on the micro. So you're breathing here. Yes. So almost just like your bear, okay? I taught the mega former this morning what I was telling the class right here. It's almost like you're bringing your knee in again, just like the bear, like the toes of that left toe are coming in and then out. Breathe, stay with me. Nice, love it, Allie, you're doing great. You got 15 seconds. You're gonna go back into your full range of motion, standard elevator. Everybody at home, stay with me, stay down. Get your right hip one inch lower. Yes, that's it. I saw that adjustment. You saw that adjustment. You can see Allie's perfect form. She's the best. Breathe. Leg is extending. And then slowly coming in. Let's go back into the straight full range of motion. Straightening the right leg, not all the way straight. The right leg stays time under tension. The knee stays over the ankle and it does not straight. We're not locking that knee out. Don't take the break, okay? You don't want to be the cheater in the class. You don't want to be that type of person, right? It's going to transfer into everything that you do in life. You don't want to be the person in the office that uses the last ice cube and doesn't refill the ice tray. No, you want to stay in the move the whole time. You want to give it the best that you have while you're in it, while you're here right now, okay? I know you're not doing Legree every day, all day. You're not doing 25 classes a day. So let's get your worth out of it right now, okay? Breathe. You're going to go heavy after this. You're gonna have to add a red or switch to a red for your donkey kick for the right. It's your standard donkey kick. Your hands are gonna go on the ground. You have the less than 10 seconds here. Breathe and stay with me, guys, okay? Last full range of motion. Sl make it your slowest one, okay? Even though I cue you into the move, you're gonna do your slowest one. Transitioning now. All right, take your time. So you have that time to get into it. Get down, guys. You're gonna switch. Either take your, uh, take your red on or take your black off. Okay, you can be um, one red or a red and a black. Maybe uh, guys, you might wanna do a couple blacks with your red. All right, left knee is on the platform. Right foot is hooking on the edge of the carriage. And the microformer, this is specific, right? To your donkey kick. You wanna feel like you really got it hooked there, okay? You can, you can see Ali's foot's just pushing. That way, all you have to do is focus on while you're in this move is moving slowly, okay? You have a, less than a minute and a half we're not adding in a pulse to the donkey kick. We're just doing the standard donkey kick. You know, you can always go heavier into your upper body by lifting that left knee up, right? You can do that on the microformer. You can do that on the megaformer. Come take my megaformer class, see what's up. That's what we're doing in level two. That was the video that I made of the class. My favorite thing that we did that day was a whole bunch of us in sync. We were in the donkey kick and we did the donkey kick with the push up, flying, right? Because then you have all of this weight lifted up going into your upper body to make it a little bit harder on your upper body. If you feel like push-ups are hard, you know, sometimes you want to do them like at an, uh, 
like at a, a on a ramp, right? So where your hands are higher and your feet are lower, you can always try that instead of uh, kn uh, knees down. That's one thing that I've been kind of like really interested in lately. All right, breathe here and slow it down. As you push it out one inch, squeeze the right glute. Push it out an inch, squeeze the right glute. Push it out an inch, squeeze the right glute. So that's how you take your time. I want you to, if I were to come and just take my French tip on my nail and touch your right in your center of your booty, you feel that, right? Squeeze the glute again, slow it down. Squeeze the glute again, slow it down. So you wanna go as slow as possible here. You wanna go as slow in these moves. And if you're new to Legree and you don't trust me, you need to start trying it and you'll believe very quickly, okay? Five seconds, you're gonna be going into skating on the right. We can stay on the red if you want a red and a black, up to you. You rotate to the left 90 degrees and transition into it, okay? So let's get up. Right foot on the platform, left foot on the carriage, get right into it. You can hook the left foot right here. Is that is that good placement for you on the strap? You know, it's, you really want your strap what? Like like pretty, pretty straight on, pretty straight line on the carriage. So you can see Allie, nice and centered between uh, her feet, so her spine, her nose, everything. So that's why the, the hands at prayer works really, really well here, because you feel like your hands and your body, you just kind of have this like natural alignment, natural like meditation kind of going for your mind where your placement is where it needs to be. So I want you to like, if I were to come around and touch now, the center of the glue and the sides, you're really kind of flexing that area as you push, okay? Pushing into both of the feet, slowly pushing out. Now we're gonna add in skating two pulse. It's a skating two, so your right foot's gonna hop down to the ground. You don't have to do that, that's an option. Let's go ahead and add the pulse. So let your left foot come in, right foot down. Now get right into that spot where you feel like you're really pushing and activating. Now I want you to squeeze both of your sides of your glutes right there and pulse. And maybe, can you, can you go slower and lower? Yeah, yes, how's that? Knees are still over the ankle. Now if you want, some people will take a hand here to your bar and just sit those hips back even lower. Nice, yes, exactly. So we're gonna go back into a skating just like you were just were. You have 27 seconds here and breathe. Nice, shoulders are still back and down. Chest is still out. This is still van. This is still. This is still Maxim Magazine, baby. Not Vanity Fair, right? Marie Claire. That uh, one has long articles if you want to read, but they're interesting. They feels good for you. Exercise the brain. Exercise the body. Good life, right? Okay, here it is. Skating for the right alley. You got this, baby. And go. Okay. After this, you're gonna be going into the left leg. We're gonna do all the legs and get them out of the way, okay? So same thing we just did, we'll be going on the left side. You're gonna breathe as you're in it. Take your time. Notice, knees over the ankles. Sit back, sit down, okay? Like if you had somebody behind you on a micro machine. What, I love to see it with the headphones on and taking the class, but you might have your booty in somebody's face behind you, that's okay. That's the placement you need to be to get your perfect workout, okay? All right. Now we're gonna have to switch it and take some of your springs off to go back to your one black, right? You take the red down, or you're gonna switch your red for your black. You have a couple more seconds here. You're almost done with the right leg. Stay in it and stay low. Get one inch lower for your last little tiny bit of your right leg. How does it feel? Great? You're doing great. You look great. You always look great. So <laughs> might not always feel great, but you always look great. <laughs> and two and one. Okay, here we go. Black's coming on, red's going down. Oh man, I missed the black. Let me grab it. <laughs> this is like, this is not supposed to be your pause. Go right into it, left foot forward, right foot down. And I just have the butter fingers to fumble this uh, spring. Let's go. Left foot forward, right foot back. Get your placement solid on the left leg and now take your time to slow it down. Knee stays over the ankle. Perfect, beautiful. Shoulders are back and down. Love it, nice. Just like the elevator, the body is dropping low right here. That left hip's getting down to the golden angle. And then you're slowly coming back up. Nice, beautiful, Ali. Love it. I actually also really, really love like a heavy, ele heavy elevator, you know? When you go heavy on your springs and you go down, that's what, when I uh, left here yesterday, I went to the class. Loved that, Cindy, that was so fun. That's gonna be in my class coming up soon. Just wait for it. Okay, we're gonna carriage kick it. Let's go. Stay low, stay low, stay lower. Knee bends. Take your time with it and go as slow as possible, okay? 
We, want, we don't want to go as low as possible, but we want to go as slow as possible for sure. Your lowness that you're going to is your golden angle, right? Left hips down and low. Make sure your right hip's not dropping back. Give me just a tiny bit, yeah. So you want to make sure right hip's not going back, side to side, up. If you can see yourself in a mirror at your house, I hope you square your machine to the mirror. So you can check the top of the pants are equal on left and the right sides. We're going back into elevator lunge for the left, okay? Don't get it twisted, guys. We're doing the same thing on the other side. I won't get distracted, I promise. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Actually, no promises about distractions. 10 seconds here. Elevator lunge, your standing elevator lunge, full range of motion, okay? Your elevator, full range of motion. There you go, that's in three. Extend it all the way out, get low. Now as slowly as possible, come up. This is your this is your race to be the last one to the top in your class, okay? If you live out in Kansas on a farm and you're doing microformer at your house, you don't, you don't experience this. If you don't have a lot of other people doing classes around you or wherever the heck, please come, please come visit us in LA and you realize you're gonna be the slowest one, you're gonna be the most challenged and the strongest. All right, breathe. This is your last elevator, okay? We did elevator, elevator with pulse, elevator. Now you're gonna drop down. We're gonna switch to the red, going into the donkey kick for the left. You have a few more seconds here. You have maybe one more full range of motion, slowly taking it down. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Right there, nice. A little bend in that back right knee is good, you know? You're, uh, as you maybe straighten that right leg a little bit, you're, you're getting a nice stretch of the hip flexor. Five seconds, transitioning into donkey in four, three, two, and one, yeah. Switch to your red, guys. Let's get it going. Don't drop those springs. Right knee's down on the platform. Left leg's gonna catch that front, okay? So if you want, you know, you can kind of angle your toes to the side instead of down on the heel. If you got them on the side, you can use the ball of the foot and um, the heel both, okay? But really push into the heel. Squeeze that left glute right now. Let it slowly come in one inch. One more, mil one, one millimeter, only half an inch. Only one millimeter. That's it, okay, now you're moving slowly. Now you're doing Legree style, baby, that's right. Slow it the fuck down. Squeeze the left glute. <laughs> Squeeze the left glute. <laughs> Take your time. I feel like there's not that many things in life that tell you like, Slow down, the slower the better. Like, I mean, I, you don't wanna see how I drive. I can't slow down there, but we can slow down in the green for sure. <laughs> Turn the music up. <laughs> look at the speedometer. Don't, don't look at mine. Don't look at my driving record. I got way too many speeding tickets on there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's from high school. That's from high school, don't even worry about it. Don't even trip, guys. I'm, I'm good. Flight attendant right here. I got a clean background check. Clean as a whistle, it's gotta be. Okay, you're almost out of your donkey kick, okay? Stay with it and keep it slow. Now I want you to go half as slow as what you're going right now. That's what I told my class at Body Restoration this morning. I taught three classes this morning. And every single one of the classes, I said I want you to go half as fast as what you're going right now because you can slow it down. Now squeeze the glute again. Breathe, okay? Take your time with this. This is really something that you don't want to push through. Don't muscle through it. Take it slow, squeeze the glute. Nice. So you can see Ali's alignment there is great. She has a straight line here with the spine, shoulder and hip alignment's awesome. Chin's away from the chest. She looks great. You have uh, 13 seconds here. You're gonna hop, uh, hop up and you're gonna flip it to the right 90 degrees, okay? Love the geometry, come on. <laughs> All right. And here it is, transitioning now. Okay, so hop that left foot up onto the platform. Okay, get really solid there. Right foot's gonna come onto the carriage. You're, uh, you turn to the right here. Yeah, love to see that uh, right foot hooked. You can also, some people really that, or in the runners, they might also really like to hook it on the edge of the carriage. Now the hips are back and down, the knees are over the ankles. Probably every 10 seconds, you could recheck your um, recheck your alignment, recheck yourself. If you don't have a mirror at your house, go buy a mirror, at least just a little small one. I got a really cool one on, on CB2 on, on my house. I love it with the, oh, it looks good. My chandelier from Restoration Hardware matching. Boom, just get something that you like. Get something that, that it's gonna make your Legree get so much better because you spend 100 bucks or whatever it is on that. Maybe you go to Ross, that's cool. We ball on a budget, baby. Get the mirror, guys. Look at yourself. 
Look at your knees over the ankles, get the hips back. If you want, the hands can be on that handle. We're gonna add the pulse, it's uh, skating two. Guess what the two means on the micro? It means one, one foot on the ground, right? Go ahead and transfer now. Transfer the foot down, get back into the skating. We're gonna pulse it. So go ahead and breathe. Now, how is that right foot? You're working on your stabilization of that right foot, right? Left foot's, left foot's really, really uh, solid on the ground, but I want you to feel that right foot, notice it. Are you working? What muscles do you feel? What muscles are working there? Nice, get low. Beautiful, breathing here, you are halfway there. You have a little more pulsing. Squeeze both of your glutes, okay? Squeeze the outsides of the glutes. Nice, and we love to see it. Allie is on fire. Muy fuego, caliente. I, I don't even think you can say fuego, what is it? Fuego or caliente, which one is the, which one is the right uh, adjective for a human? Fuego or caliente, guys? Caliente, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say mucho calor. <laughs> okay, going back to skating and now. Let's hit it, guys. Left foot hops back up and you're down and you're low. And what? This is the motherfucking last move on the left foot. Last move for your legs, baby. Stay in it. Work it. I know you guys want to maybe have a glass of wine or something later. You're just going to feel so good in your body after this. I want you to, and, and maybe don't even have the wine. Maybe just have a sparkling water. Get it, get a fist stick, whatever you need to be doing. But you breathe, okay? All right, I'm not trying to promote alcohol. <laughs> Stay in it. Stay down. Get low. Now breathe, okay? Slow. Squeeze the sides right here. Squeeze it right here, okay? I know everybody in my class this morning, they probably weren't expecting me to come around and touch their booties, but that's just kind of my style. To <laughs> hate it or love it, you know, the game. Just, you just gotta love it, okay? Just learn to love it. All right, scramble legs for the right. You gotta get your straps. We are transitioning now in two and one. Okay, you got 20 seconds to get there. You get one, I get one. One black, right? Okay. You can be on a white. You're coming over to the side, so let's see how this works with, uh, let's see how this works here. It should be good. <clears throat> with the handles on this side, this is a little bit different than the last class with this. So move, uh, so instead, scoot your body a little bit to the left. So now, let's, yeah, let's, exactly. So how's that working, right? We don't want it to rub on that handle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your range of motion, the leg is extending back. And then it's coming over to the side. Allie's, Allie's getting the perfect placement here. Maybe you can come forward. Leg is coming out to the side, drifting, drifting way over. Yeah, and now watch the, keep your hips kind of leaning a little bit to the left. So what you can do in your scrambled egg is you can keep your left hand down and then you can take your right hand, you can touch that left oblique. You should be able to feel those muscles work and you wanna stay light in this, okay? You wanna feel that you're not using your leg muscle. This is not a leg exercise, okay? This is a slow engagement of the left oblique and this is the beginning of the oblique series right here in this class, okay? We have three moves on each side. And, and you're gonna just love how you feel. If you have it on the green in a few days, like me maybe, and, you, and then you do this like I did a couple days ago, yes. Oh my gosh, it works. Your kneeling torso twist is coming up next. Oh yeah, baby, we got the full class recording on Instagram too. I had to turn my screen so it doesn't, so it doesn't automatically lock. Breathe, okay? Take your time, stay with me. You're gonna have to grab your other handle for your kneeling torso twist because we're staying on the right oblique. So you switch from the left foot to the hands on your right, okay? Transition five, four, three, and two, and one. Here it is, okay. Beautiful breathe. Okay, so ballerina arms, Allie's a dancer. Love the elbows up, hands out, shoulders down, okay? Shoulders. This is like in a warrior two, in my yoga class. Everybody wants to go like this. No, I go around, I just touch the shoulders, drops down the back, right? Away from the ears. Uh, timer's on, okay? 
I know you can see the move that's coming up next, y'all. Everybody at home, breathe. You're in this for a little while. Now, I want you to slow it down, okay? This is Sebastian telling me in the class, right? Basically, take try to 30 seconds only to go to the side. So you see how slowly I'm moving? It's like half a millimeter at a time. Really slow motion. And then as you twist to the right, make sure your hips aren't going to the left. So then I'll come around you in the class and I just make sure that that left hip is staying right in perfect alignment. So instead of the body twisting to the right, no. Almost think like you're pulling your left hip back, okay? Elbows up, arms out, shoulders down. We wanna get those shoulders working here because we're not doing shoulder press, we're not doing any crazy shoulders in this class. You're staying in it though, and you're slowing it down, okay? Nice, beautiful, Allie. Yes, so that carriage comes towards the platform, perfect. It's nice to get the leg hooked on the platform there. It's, it, it ends up being really like, what do you think, like the perfect range of motion, right? To twist to the right, uh-huh, cool. So you have a French twist next. That's gonna be your last move for your uh, right oblique, okay? A few more seconds here. Stay with me. And now again, I'm gonna remind you, elbows up, hands up, hands out. Like you have a big old beach ball, okay? Shoulders down though. Keep those arms up. Get those shoulders activated, engaged, working. Stay with me here, okay? All right. I wanna see that French twist really, really slow. If you don't have your handles on this side of the machine, come over to the other side of the machine. If you might start in your French twist and be like, oh my God, this is so hard. Okay, let's transition now, okay? If, if you absolutely need to, you can take those straps off, but just try to leave them on. I think it'll be fine. And then if you wanna hook your feet on this strap, Ali, you can try that, okay? So you wanna get your right foot over your left, heels down, get yourself set up, okay? Uh, grip all your fingers around, tuck your uh, fingers down towards the ground, and you have a little bit over a minute in your French twist, okay? So you're breathing. Now, your activation, if I were to come around and just touch like your right oblique, that's what's working. That's what's having this little lift right here up towards the sky, yes, okay. Then, maybe take your shoulders back an inch, yeah. So with your shoulders way forward, we don't, wanna, we don't want this to be a leg and an arm powering through, no. This is the right oblique is active and your toes are coming forward basically on accident, right? Okay, take your time, breathe. Focus on that right oblique and really just squeeze it, okay? So you already know that oblique's working. If you did what I said in the scrambled egg and you touched it, that's that same exact spot that you feel is getting kind of hard right there as you work it, all right? So stay with me. You're gonna switch to the other oblique. You're gonna go right into your scrambled eggs for the left. You have 20 seconds here. So maybe you can get one more little baby full range of motion, a range of motion similar to your catfish, right? That um, third move that you did in this class. Nine, eight, seven, here it is. You're gonna have to come around to the other side. The leg is gonna go around your left, uh, leg's gonna go around your foot. Transition now. Your <laughs> foot strap's going around the left foot. Oh, coming down. Oh, you did scrambled egg on the left, huh? You're doing scrambled egg on the right. Scrambled egg, okay, if you did scrambled egg on the uh, right oblique last time, you're doing scrambled egg on the left, okay? And then you're gonna come into it. So if you have your handles, Get into the position that works for you. There's a lot of options here. Beautiful. What you wanna see is a nice alignment of the spine, hips and shoulders are in alignment, and then let yourself, let your hips fall a little bit over to the right. So as we get this uh, microformer lifted up off of the ground, you'll be able to swing the leg down more out of an angle when it comes to the side, and that's awesome. Breathe with it, stay in it, and slow it down, okay? If you can't move slowly through this move, you need to take your black off and do it on nothing. Or you need to do it on a white. If you don't, if you don't have a white, you could get one soon. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> All right, breathe. Okay, you guys, I want to see it slow. Nice and slow and controlled, yes. 
So you want to feel like you're, you're, you're not, you're not out of whack, right? You're not like this. So if somebody were to look at you, you see yourself in the mirror, all you see really is your shoulders, right? Your hips are right behind the shoulders. Your hands are on the ground. If they are, fingers are spread wide, palms are down. Beautiful, breathe. We're gonna go into a kneeling torso twist for the left next. Take your time as you move, okay? So we're not rushing out of it. Remember what I said in the beginning of the class. This is gonna go a little bit uh, longer in these moves. Guess what, not every class is gonna be like this. Don't even trip. This is a specialty class that I'm doing because I want you to have a little bit longer in these moves to really start to engage and activate and fatigue in those muscles. And we're then we want these muscles to really get um, strong. Okay, 15 seconds kneeling torso twist. And you have right here, 10, nine, eight. Stay in it, don't give up. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, kneeling torso twist for the left. <clears throat> Grab your other handle. You can line up the knee. Uh, rest it against that platform. So you kind of hook it on there in a way, right? And then you set up elbows up, hands out, twisting slowly. All right, and your timer is on. So you have, great. You have a two minute kneeling torso twist, okay? It's a basic torso twist, kneeling, right? You can take it seated if you want. You can take it um, on a tailbone with the feet up. So there's different types of twists. It just kind of depends on what your preference is. But specifically kneeling today, as you twist to the left of the upper body, make sure that the hips are not twisting, the hips are staying stationary, and you can kind of keep thinking to your brain. Pull that right hip back just a little bit. Breathe, okay. Less than a minute and a half, sorry in advance, it's long. I know you're probably like, what the fuck are you thinking, Siobhan? <laughs> Stay with me. Believe in yourself right now, okay? Get the elbows up, work the shoulders. I know you guys wanna be wearing tank tops all year. You wanna have that nice definition in the shoulders. It's sexy, that's such a sexy body part. Man, ooh. <laughs> what, can you, what can you do to feel better in your body, in your bikini? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is it. I like that Meghan Markle, I, I, read, I like the quote. Um, Legree is one of the best things you can do for your body, yes, 100%. Gosh, it's amazing. Yep, I know, so she's doing it. Maybe it's Santa Barbara up by my house. <laughs> Take your time, slowly twisting, okay? So remember, one millimeter, one millimeter. It's like a snail speed, okay? Like a little, little, little slug right there. You can barely even tell, you can barely even tell. It's slow motion on the, on the phone. Legree is not something that you really want to see in a time lapse, right? Because, because you kind of get the wrong idea. You kind of get the sense of it moving quickly. All right, but guess what? You only have eight more seconds here. So you go as slowly as you can. Don't rush in or out of it. Wherever you're at, stay with me. Stay at that slow pace. Transitioning into your French twist for the left. Now, all right, drop that handle. Your springs are staying the same. Left foot's over the right. All right, you're going to get the heels down if you can. And then again, kind of forget about your feet. They're naturally gonna go back, unless you're on this side of the machine, and then in that case, you have a little more of a push, right? Over here, you have a pull as the feet come in, but you're, all you're doing is you're squeezing that left oblique. Squeezing that left oblique. Oh, okay. Beautiful, take your time. I know we don't have the, we don't have what? The music copyrights for me to make a playlist? It's like, I want you guys to think of your favorite song right now. And I don't know, I've been listening against, uh, listening to Rage Against the Machine a lot lately. Whatever comes on in the Tesla, you know, I got Slacker Radio going and I'm listening. Oh my gosh, I start singing Rage Against the Machine like anger is a gift. Next thing I know, I'm like, whoo, oh my gosh. I, I, gotta, get, I gotta get some uh, Miley Cyrus or something on 23, you know. <laughs> Get my J's on, baby. Get my J's on. I need to not be angry. That's the last thing we need to do. But anyways, can you get angry? If you get angry at something, is it gonna help you move through this class? Okay, anger is a gift. Get mad, get mad, and squeeze all of that madness that you feel into that left oblique. This is your last little bit for the left oblique. The whole class is almost finished, okay? So, now, 
You're gonna breathe here. You have 15 seconds. You're gonna come into a giant reverse wheelbarrow one. You're gonna stay on a black, okay? And your hands are gonna come down to that platform in five, four, three, two, one. So you don't even have to let that carriage come back. Yeah, exactly. Stay exactly where you're at. Nice transition alley. She gets right into it. She doesn't let this machine bring her back. It's a super fun ride though, just to ride to the other side. Yeah, love it. Gotta do it sometimes, right? I love seeing like the people that do agree re regularly in my class. You cue something, they know exactly where to go, they how to get there, boom, and they're in it. She's in it. Take your time. Now, this is a very challenge for the upper body here, right? Uh, wheelbarrow's awesome. You can do four wheelbarrows or more, right? You can do your wheelbarrow one, reverse wheelbarrow. Uh, giant wheelbarrow, giant reverse wheelbarrow, okay? So here's your giant reverse wheelbarrow. You're facing the back and you're on the back side of the machine. So that's what gives you the giant, right? It is a giant effort. That's exactly what this is. So you take your time. <laughs> it's the BFG, baby. <laughs> take your time to breathe. As you go back, can you go one inch back? Can you pause? You're on your final fucking countdown of this class, so take your time. As you come forward, you're using that upper body strength to bring you back forward. Take your time. Now, don't go too far forward. Don't just get, don't release. Yes, shoulders down the back. You feel this in the upper body and the arms, right? You're getting so strong, so strengthening. Yes. Okay. Now, Sebastian's class, he did a lat pull down before this move. Love that on the mega former. Taught that in my class this morning. We're going to do a one arm lat pull down on the right, one arm lat pull down on the left because that is uh, what makes the most sense on this machine, right? Because, um, you know, we're a little bit limited on space. And just, be, just in case I have some, uh, somebody that uh, is really tall or something like that, and it's a little more comfortable to do, do your lat pull down in that way, right? Okay, 20 seconds. You're staying here. If you came out of it, come back into it and do another more full range of motion. Come on, you guys. Let's do it. Pretend like I'm right there at your house with you, okay? I'm here. Take your time. Go back one more inch. Now, slow as possible, as slowly as you can go. Yes, yeah, an adverb. I know it's an adverb describing your, uh, describing your verb. Slowly, move slowly, slowly. All right, here we go. One arm lap, pull down. Okay, come on, Allie, let's switch into it. <laughs> We're almost done with this class, you guys. You got this. Let's. Let's hit it hard for the last two minutes, okay? All right, get right into it. So come over to this side. You're on one black. You're getting low, you're on the belly. You can take an arm behind the back if you want. It doesn't really matter, right? It's, it's after maybe you just wanna stay laying down on the floor for a few minutes, that's cool, because we're gonna pretty sure end on the floor and you can just do a stretch like this. Well, I'll shoot you guys out, just, just, just hang tight, okay? Arms pulling, yeah, so you're gonna pull and slow it down and really squeeze in the back as it comes back. Nice, beautiful. And then take your time as it starts to come forward. We're gonna have to get over to the other side of the machine for the other side in just a few seconds. Keep it slow, keep the time under tension going right now, okay? As you pull it back, you squeeze, 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 yes. All right, we'll transition to the, give me a couple more seconds here before we flip over to the other side, because maybe you started this a couple seconds late. Okay, and you're gonna have transitioning now. Let's go, release that carriage, hop over to the other side, so you get your full, full minute in the other side. One minute on each side. We wanna be balanced on the right and left, right? You might have one side of your body that's stronger than the other. I know I always kick with my left foot. Actually, my, I'm right-handed, but my left leg is stronger. I'm fascinated by people who use both, both hands equally. Ambidextrous people, I love that. Man, if you are ambidextrous, I think you are so cool, You're so bitchin'. Breathe, okay? Again, pulling it in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that range of motion going, because guess what? That machine's gonna go back. Keep back, Allie. Yes, see, it, it can keep going, okay? Depending on where you position yourself, you get a nice full range of motion there. Take your time, it's squeezing back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Mm. Flex all those muscles in the back, yeah, nice. What could you do to make it better? You could lift the, lift, could you lift your legs a little bit? Get a little lo uh, lower back work? Oh, there it, wow, beautiful. Pointed toes and everything. Yes, nice. But lower back, kind of hard to work sometimes, right? Woo, we all need, we all need to work out, we all need to work it. Okay, take your time, you guys. You have a couple more seconds, and two, and one. Take a, take a second to release. So if you're laying on the ground, this is a nice stretch that you could just do right here to start. 
Either your arms out to the side or your elbows can be bent to a 90 and just take your take a second and roll over onto that arm. So doing a 90 degree instead of doing the arms straight, you hit a lot more muscles that way and you're gonna feel that your range of motion is not as far as you roll over to that side. And then go ahead and come back. Uh, give yourself a few seconds. When you're ready, you can come back onto the belly. You can roll over to the other side. Take your time. Yeah. Some, like some people get so flexible there. When I was teaching yoga every day, I was like, you know, you can rotate both of your knees up towards the sky, all that kind of stuff. Great job, Allie. Fuck yeah, dude. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, I don't know. I hope that wasn't too hard, but I hope it was hard. <laughs> was it hard? Was it hard? <laughs> Everybody's. Yeah, exactly, right? Turn your, turn your heater on. Just kidding. Maybe not, but <laughs> depending on what state you guys really do live in. <laughs> I know it's hot. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Thank you to our two gentlemen hooking everything up for us here so that we can film. Rock on.